Welcome to the Sandy Hook Bay. Here, we'll be seining. Seining is one of the oldest methods of catching fish. It has a history of thousands of years. Coastal native people who once lived along the Jersey Shore use seine nets to catch fish. Here, this is known as a salt marsh. Salt marshes are coastal wetlands that are flooded and drained by salt water brought in by tides. They are marshy because the soil may be composed of deep mud and peat. Peat is made of decomposing plant matter that is often several feet thick. Peat is water bogged, root filled, and very spongy. Because salt marshes are frequently submerged by the tides and contain a lot of decomposing plant material, oxygen levels in the peat can be extremely low. This condition is called hypoxia. Hypoxia is caused by the growth of bacteria, which produce the sulfurous rotten egg smell that is often associated with marshes and mudflats. So when you come to this area, it smells like rotten eggs. Salt marshes occur worldwide, particularly in middle to high latitude areas. Thriving along protected shorelines, they are a common habitat in estuaries. These intertidal habitats are essential for healthy fisheries, coastlines, and communities. They also provide essential food, refuge, and, or nursery habitat for more than 75% of fisheries species, including shrimp, blue crab, and many fin fish. Salt marshes also protect shorelines from erosion or buffering wave action and trapping sediment. They reduce flooding by slowing and absorbing rainwater and protect water quality by filtering runoff. Salt marshes are complex, fragile, and one of the most threatened environments on our planet. This is due to the close proximity to industrial, commercial, and recreational uses of coastline. Environmental changes also threaten them by way of climate change and rising sea level. To go seine fishing, it will help to drag a long net called seine net through the water to find out what might live in the shadow parts of the estuary. The catch is never the same. You may catch juvenile fish, shrimp, or even baby puffers or seahorses in the net. Scientists take a biological ass assessment of estuarine waters along the Jersey Shore. All fishes, crabs, and other aquatic creatures are identified, measured, and cataloged and returned to the water. In addition, one may collect water temperature, salinity, and turbidity information to see how murky the water is, and document the tidal stage and note the aquatic vegetation in the area. Here you're looking at an actual seine fishing report taken by scientists right here at the Andy Hook on June 3rd, 2012. Looking at the long list of marine life that was caught in their seine net, we can see that the salt marsh habitat is very diverse and must be protected. Your assignment today is the following. You need to research six of the 15 aquatic species and put them on a PowerPoint. Your PowerPoint must have a title slide and each slide must include the species name, a picture and a short description of the aquatic species. This needs to be done quickly because you don't want to miss the bus to our next location. If you have any questions, please message me through Canvas. Have a great day.